So welcome to my little studio. We built it after lockdown last year, so it must have been like June time. It's about eight by eight foot, but it is such a nice space and it's the perfect space to do little bits of art and no one tells me off for getting messy inside, and even though it's freezing in here in the winter, that's what I've learned so far, but I keep the heater on. I've also got loads of art stuff in my room, like bigger pieces that I can't fit in here, so there's basically art everywhere. Um, but in the future I'm going to really try and make this my little place to get away from everything. So I thought I would start off by showing you the colours that I use, they're oil colours from Windsor and Newton. I have a range of warm tones like burnt sienna, um, this crimson is such a nice colour, and I've got a white as well. Um, I always use so much white for these kind of things. Raw amber is one of my favourite colours, I use it all the time, especially for this painting that we'll be using. Um, and also yellow ochre and flesh tint. These are things that I use to paint people's faces, their skin colours, so we're not really gonna use them today. Little life lesson to share with you about keeping oil paints, always keep the lids on. Mine are an absolute mess, um, and a lot of them have dried up, which isn't ideal, so just remember to keep the lids on. I'm gonna be using this palette knife to mix my colours, and I'm gonna use this set of square-headed brushes, which are so nice. Um, to paint some really nice bold strokes. So we're going to be painting a dog today. Um, so when it comes to palettes, I am so bad at keeping them clean. It is such a task to clean oil paint off of palettes. So. I basically now just wrap um, like a wooden coaster that you get on a table in greaseproof paper, sellotape it up and use it as a board for paint. So today isn't just going to be all about art and painting techniques. Um, I thought I'd make a video for you guys so that you understand a bit more about me and hopefully, yeah, it will feel like you know me a bit more. And it's quite therapeutic really to see something start from nothing and become such a cool portrait. So hopefully that will interest you guys. started I am filming on my Canon 700D it's an amazing camera it's been working for 12 years touch wood um, but the battery it only films for like 12 minutes in one go so this is gonna be a test um, I set everything up now and I'm gonna have a go at showing you guys how I paint it's gonna be a time-lapse so it'll be really quick um, and hopefully you can have a chat about yeah, my artistic career so far. Also, disclaimer, I don't wear a favourite jumper to paint in, but it keeps me warm, so I'm willing to sacrifice it today. This type of painting is something that I've only started doing recently. Um, all the paintings I've done in the past are of people and if you guys know me already then you'll probably know that my style is quite, I don't know a word to use it, particular? I, I'm not sure. I am someone that loves the detail and things so I do pencil drawings and oil paintings normally of people 
the detail to me in all of their features is so important. Um, but yeah, this dog is a bit different. I've used the detail in the eyes, and the nose and the mouth, and I'm going to contrast it with some bolder strokes in the fur. And again, it's colour, which is so scary for me. Normally I do black and white, but you know, this year is all about branching into new things and doing things outside my comfort zone. So it's actually quite fun, more fun than I expected. So this past year has literally been mental, um, about, I think it was March time last year we got locked down in Guernsey and um, I was obviously in my spare time and stuff, finally able to spend a bit more time on pursuing my art and I still have a full time job but I have done so much art in the past year and I felt so amazing for it and I'm so excited that um, the work's still been coming in and I'm doing paintings, I'm currently working on a body of work um, for an exhibition that I want to have in the summer in Guernsey and hopefully I can take that abroad too. Um, but yeah, it's literally been so much fun this past year. Something else that I've absolutely loved doing is I've been hosting workshops, so I've been doing drawing workshops uh, over here. And I've also been doing little skill shares online, which is so much fun. I've really fallen in love with teaching art at the moment, as well as doing it. So I literally get so much happiness from teaching people art, which I've studied, well not studied, but I've done in my spare time for years and years. And I have had people that pick it up so quickly and it's so exciting to see people so chuffed about something that they've done and they've just unlocked this potential that they didn't even know they had so that is going to be a big part of my work this year and it just makes people so happy it's so rewarding My hands are literally frozen. I forgot what I was doing because I was so in the moment and I didn't put the heater on. So halfway through, I put my coat back on, lit some more candles and then realized I'm so cold because the heater's not on. But yeah, I'm so pleased with how that painting came out and um, yeah, let's do more. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will try again very shortly to do something similar. Bye.